Hey everybody, I'm JJ, you're watching Reality Survival, and we're conducting an experiment. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a little bit. Um, we'll see if it'll fail or not, I don't know for sure. But uh, before we get to that, I wanted to uh, ask you guys um, to pray for a guy who has watched this channel for a long time. And um, of course my dogs are going crazy. And he uh, is a prepper also, and he got in a motorcycle accident. Um, he was doing about 40 miles an hour on a Harley, and a guy in a three-quarter ton pickup pulled out in front of him, didn't see him. And so he's pretty banged up. He's going to be in the hospital for, they said, at least a month now. Um, and I've got some pictures <laughs> of some of his injuries and I'll, I'll ask him if I can throw him in. I don't know if he'll want me to or not because, you know, it's kind of private. But <clears throat> anyway, um, you know, if you can if you can just pray for him, that'd be great. Um, he He's a good dude. I've known him just online for a while, you know, and, and uh, so I know that he would appreciate that. So anyhow, um, let's uh, go take a look at the uh, why the dogs are barking and and figure out this little experiment that we're gonna do <laughs> here. All right. Hey, try to do a video here. Can you can you be good? Huh? Firebugs. Can you be good? <laughs> All right. Anyway. So, oh, look. Look. There you are again. <clears throat> you guys want to come? You want to come out? I guess I'm going to let him out. All right. You can come out, but you better not you better not attack anything. <laughs> They're vicious. All right, girls, come on. Come on. Hey, now, girls. Easy. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, settle down. Settle down. Jeez. Settle down. <clears throat> Fire. Be good. She's so obnoxious. She's like four, and she's still like a puppy. So... Here's our little experiment that we have going. We got some ducks. Fire! No. Don't you chase those ducks. Shay, you be good too. We got six rowans, which are basically like big mallards, and two khaki camels, and they're older. So they are fire. <clears throat> the the one hen is already laying and the other ones are only a couple months old they're just barely feathered out so here's the experiment part just having ducks isn't that big of a deal but we're not going to put them in a pen <laughs> and there's a lot of predators around here so I fully recognize that this may end in failure but I'd like to be able to just let them free range. <clears throat> so, I built. Shay, you be good. You be good. Don't be eating the ducks. Shay Poo. You be good. Hey, no. Shay, don't you get in that pond. No, no, no. You'll be stinky. You'll be staying in the garage. Shay, get out of there. Go on. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Stinking dogs. Sorry. Anyway, so here's a little little hut that I built them. Just a little duck coop kind of thing. It's very basic. Um, so just a sheet metal roof. And it's just, you know, two foot wide by eight foot long. Nothing too 
Leave them alone, Shay. Leave them. Good girl. Don't worry about them ducks. Um, this is just a this is just a little feeder that I got laying here just to keep the water from getting in it. Put a little motion light on it. Um, I don't even know if they'll ever go in there, to be honest with you. But uh, I know the dog is going to eat the bread that we left out for him. The concept here is they could get in there and nest, lay their eggs and all that kind of stuff if they want to. And if they want to sleep in there, they can. A lot of times, ducks will just sleep just out on the water, on the edge of the water. Um, so I'm not sure if they'll use it or not. I put two doors in it so that if a predator does come into the hut, into one side, then one of them, one of the ducks will probably get eaten, but the other ones can run out the other door. <laughs> And then get out here, you know, to get into the pond. So that's the that's the theory, anyway. Now, is, if that's going to work or not, I don't have any idea. That's sort of the experiment. <laughs> it's uh, hard to say. But we do have the we do have the dogs. You know, they run around as long as I can keep them from eating them. Um, but they should hopefully keep you know some of the predators away and stuff like that. There's not much back here. <clears throat> it's just a kind of a steep hill. Um, but, you know, raccoons or anything could come up there. Who knows, you know. So, it is hard to say what's going to happen. But, yeah, the, the coop that I put together, all in all, I've probably got about $500 in materials. It's, no, it's a little bit less than that. I take that back. It's probably about... 350 probably about 350 um because i didn't use a couple pieces i ended up making it a little bit smaller than i was going to so probably about 350 or so in, in materials um i don't really know if it'll be good or not i mean they don't apparently like anything too high uh so i just kept it real small um two foot by two foot by eight foot to try to save on materials cost and all that kind of stuff and yeah we'll just we'll see how it goes right now I'm just feeding them a layer feed uh, mix that I get from my local uh, co-op it's basically soy meal uh, cracked corn oyster shells and soybean oil and uh, to put a little bit of fat in there too so it's a kind of a good mix of protein carbs and fat and that's what we feed our chickens as well and i can get that for about what was it 60 i think it was about it was around 60 dollars for 250 pounds so that that's that's our new new addition to the farm let me know if you guys think it'll work or not um i've heard that the the predators like the hawks and stuff and the eagles will are, are less likely to attack the darker colored ducks they're more likely to attack the white pekins pekins pekings whatever they call them um, these will look like mallards once they once they grow up and get mature they're basically just an offshoot of mallard but they get bigger they're a meat bird they're bred to be a meat bird but they do also lay eggs too. Um, and then these are the khaki campbells, which are also a variant of a mallard, but um, I think, I forget which, which one comes from which. I think the, the Rowans come from France because they like to eat duck and stuff over there. They're all sophisticated. <laughs> and then uh, the khaki campbells, I can't remember where they come from. They come from somewhere else, but anyway that's what we got we got six of the ruins and two of the khaki campbells and we'll see how they go um it's they're, they're mainly the reason that i'm getting them getting them if you guys are curious is for the health and maintenance of the of the pond and to kind of keep down the the weeds and stuff along the edges they do a real good job uh they're omnivores they eat plants insects and anim small animals 
and uh, and they do a real good job of keeping the the pond fairly clear and that kind of thing at least that's my understanding so that's what we're gonna that's what we're doing with them and we'll just have to see how it goes Shay come here come on but anyhow I don't really have anything else other than that I would love to know um, if any of you guys have had free-range ducks you know that you're not pinning up or anything um, what you've done to give them safety and shelter and those kinds of things I, I mean I think this will probably work um, but I don't I don't really know for sure so because uh, it's my first time doing it so it's a little bit of trial and error here a little experimentation but I'm happy to uh, learn from you guys in the comments so you know stick something in the comments below all right guys uh, that's it for now and I'll keep you updated as this you know as this goes along talk to you later bye